Ah, Eivor, a welcome vision for my eye. Athlone has begun to send us excellent ale. From experience, I can tell you this is dangerous cargo. I've never seen a shipment of ale reach its destination without losing a barrel or two. My crew knows the cost of hitting the stocks. Everything will ship and we shall reap riches. With ale to celebrate. I always enjoy the dance of trade. We'll close the books on that. I look forward to your return. Aver, I'm sorry. I did not notice you. Azar, is everything all right? Yes. No, it will be, once that bastard is dead and hanging from my rafters as sausages. I believe I know who this is about. Constantinos has come to Ireland. Yesternight, his ship pulled into the bay. I will deliver you his head. Your offer is appreciated, Eivor, but not necessary. He threatens our trade, does he not? I protect my greater interest, and provide my partner a service. Very well. But do not deprive me of my revenge. Bring him back to me alive. Another time. The ship pulled into Dublin's Bay. I should look for him there. <gasps> hmm?
an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In Show all me. Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some carls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we were serving ale, we came to find that we had none left. It so happened that the ale had run out just before reaching Unar's hall. This raised in him a word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the longhouse jeered at Unar for raising such a fuss. Save it for later. I can't walk. That is the idea. The one-time partner is eager to see you. Uh, ah, that thrice-cursed harpy should have been long dead. Save your insults for your reunion. I'd hope to finish you this time. 
You were always careless. At least I took your eye. And your brother, the sniveling sop. Along with your loud bitch of a screaming mother. Come on, have at it. Let's end this quickly. Quickly? Oh no, 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 my dear Constantinos. This will last a very long time indeed. Why else have I sharpened so many implements? I will unmake you tenfold for what you've done. You make a sorry Cyclops. Damn you to hell! What has happened? They have summoned Flan. I hope he shows soon, if only to end this bickering. <gasps> Speak. Lord, there has been much deliberation these last few days. News of Owen has spread like a mountain fire. The people are frightened. We are unsettled, to say the least. A trusted abbot unveiled as a pagan conspirator. The druids have permeated the church at the highest level. There's no telling how far down it goes. Something must be done. We must rid them of this land. Begin an inquisition. How dare you speak like this? Owen acted alone. He belonged to a sect. There are others like him. Do you deny it? I do not deny it. But then you will speak only of the children of Danu. A weed that grew from druid roots. If we allow it to thrive, how can we ever be certain this will not happen again? Flam, I do not like what these men are implying. Do not entertain this. You would presume to tell your king what to do? You who share those druid roots. You even know this sect by name. Perhaps, like Owen, there is more to you than meets the eye. Bastard! Enough! Speak to her like that again, and rats will sup on you. Alive. Apologies, my king. Poetess. I do not mean to cast suspicion, only to draw a very real comparison. We do not know from where the next threat will come. And we cannot simply hope that it will not come. We must put aside our differences and come together as Christians if we wish to preserve an Ireland under God. Flan, if you do this... I know well where you stand, Kira. Are there any others who wish to speak? I will. This gathering shows us something very clear. ...that there is solidarity in this cause. If we do nothing, the weeds will continue to sprout... ...leading to unrest across the kingdoms. But if we act... ...begin an inquisition. It will lead to unity this land has sorely lacked. These are my people, Siegfried! And there are those within who threaten the very fabric of this land. Can you really stand there and defend them? Anyone else? Lord, we kings are all in agreement. 
There is but one move to make. We will launch an Inquisition. Every druid will face a choice. Reform or <sighs> exile. The future of Ireland is a holy Christian one. Where did Kira go? Set off for her house, just down that road. Looked mighty upset. Kira is not of sound mind. I need to settle her down. <laughs> Kira! Get out! Leave me be! What is this? What are you doing? Flan, spineless fool. What was he thinking? He saw an opportunity to unite the kingdoms. He seized it. It is what any king would do. Do not defend him. I am not. But consider what would happen if he ignored these allied kings. You are right to be upset. But you know Flan best. This was not a decision he made lightly. Let us go back and talk with him. If anyone can convince him to reconsider, it is you. Oh, I will, whether he wants to or not. What? I am sorry, Eivor. I cannot let them erase us. Eivor! Can you hear me? Eivor! Are you all right? Did... did you see Kira? I expected her here. Eivor? Oh! <sighs> what is that? I think it's Kira. It must be. I do not know.